and welcome to a live story time with me, Miss Ferreira, and Eddie. He's in the Christmas tree. We know Christmas is over, but we have one last story for you, so I hope you're still feeling festive. Let's get all of our wiggles out. One, two, three. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears and I wiggle my nose. Now there are no more wiggles in me. I can sit as quiet as can be. Today's story is called Meerkat Christmas. It was first called Merry Christmas, but then the meerkat crossed it out. Our author and illustrator is Emily Gravett. She has our book spine and our back cover has our blurb. It looks a bit like a Christmas present, this story. Let's see what's going to happen. Meerkat Christmas. It's nearly Christmas in the Kalahari and all the meerkats are busy. Sunny's mum and dad are busy cleaning the burrow. Sunny's brothers and sisters are busy putting up the Christmas decorations. And Sunny's aunts and uncles are busy cooking. Everyone is very excited, except for Sunny. He has been reading all about how to have the perfect Christmas, and this does not look perfect. He has his magazine, Perfect Christmas. It says you need, number one, the perfect weather, number two, the perfect tree, number three, the perfect presents, number four, the perfect dinner, and number five, the perfect Christmas meal. So Sunny packs his bag and sets off to find somewhere more Christmassy, just like in his magazine. His first stop is at his pen pal Kev's. Kev is having a lovely Christmas, but it all looks a bit like the Kalahari to Sunny. So he says goodbye and carries on with his search. And our car says Merry Christmas. Dear Mum and Dad, Grandmas, granddads, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, all my cousins, and anyone else who knows me. I am eating prawns. They're a bit like scorpions, but are from the sea. There is a lot of sand here, just like at home, but also the sea. Later, Kev is going to teach me to surf, whatever that is. I hope it doesn't involve getting wet. Lots of love, Sunny. The decorations are amazing at Trevor's and there are plenty of trees. But it doesn't look anything like the Christmas in the magazine. Where is all the snow? And his card says, Hello everyone, the food here is delicious. Crickets for dinner, but I still haven't tasted a Brussels sprout. The decorations are brilliant, but not stuck on pointy trees like in my picture. Sunny. P.S. I'm sending you a snack. <laughs> Sunny hates getting wet. And this Christmas card says, Tis the season to sing. Dear everyone, I am visiting Robin and it does not look nice and snowy like on the front of this card. I am off to find some real snow. Missing you. This looks more like it, but it's a lot colder than he had expected and not a Christmas tree in sight. Hi, I found snow. It's not like sand at all. So now he's got snow presents, but no singing, no dinner and no trees. At last, Christmas trees! To my lovely family. It's cold and snowy here too, but I am snug and warm because I opened my prezi from the penguins. Guess what it is? Missing you all lots. P.S. I am being very helpful. P.P.S. I'm beginning to think I will never find the perfect Christmas. So here he's got snow, trees, no presents, no dinner, and no music. On the night before Christmas, Sunny arrives somewhere perfect. 
the snow is falling outside, everyone is singing and there's a beautifully decorated tree, plenty of presents and a huge Christmas dinner with all the trimmings, even sprouts. It should be perfect. But something still isn't right. It's Christmas morning in the Kalahari. The meerkats should be excited about opening their presents, but they are too busy missing Sunny. Until... <laughs> there he is! Happy Christmas! I'm so happy they're all together in the end. We hope you had a lovely Christmas with your families. We will see you for our next story. It might not be in front of the Christmas tree, but it's all